If you're sending proposals, contracts, or any other documents that require electronic signature as a PDF or even as a Word doc, and you see that this is not the best way to do it because it is disorganized, or maybe you're missing sales opportunities, you should try out PandaDoc. This app tries to solve all these issues and adds automations, integrations, templates, and other features that we will cover in this review. Hi everyone, this is Andy with Bloomo.com and I'm a software consultant. If you're new here, welcome. On this channel, we explore strategies and apps that help your business to be more effective, ultimately making you happier. So if you like this video, please click the like button. All right, let's start. When you log into PandaDoc, you will see a dashboard where you can find a report of the status of the documents that you sent in the last week. You can change the time frame here. On the right, you will find a timeline that shows the most recent documents that have changed. And on the left, we have the navigation bar that will allow you to jump between modules, like documents, templates, forms, and more. To create a document, click on the New Document button, and then you can upload a file, like a PDF or Word. You can create a document with the PandaDoc editor, or you can select a template. Let's upload a PDF. Then add the recipients. In this case, we only need to select ourselves here. Finally, you can make any edits, like adding a signature area. So first, let's add a signer. And then let's move the fields to the document. Finally, you can send a document by clicking this button or you can go back to the dashboard and the document will be saved as a draft. The Documents tab shows all the documents sent by your organization. You can filter them using the filter bar and also search for any of them using the search bar. When you open a sent document, you will be able to see information about it. You can also edit it using this button, but you will have to resend it. The signer won't be able to see a draft document. There is also a chat window available on each doc and the more options menu where you can find workflows, version history, and more. The contacts tab shows all your contacts and you can even import your Google contacts if you use Gmail. Overall, the design is great and the navigation is straightforward. The only thing I would like to see improved is the filters menu in the documents tab. It would be great if you can filter by document owner. PandaDoc has a lot of great features but these are the ones I like the most. When you create a new blank document in PandaDoc, you can use library items to speed up the process. For example, if you always use the same signature area, you can save it as a library item and use it in all future documents you create. Templates are also a big part of PandaDoc, but we will cover that when we go over customization. The next feature is the blocks available that you can add to the documents. You can add text, images, videos, tables, pricing tables, table of contents, and page breaks. Also, you can add a cover page, blank pages, attach files, and add images from the Canva app. Another feature I like is workflows, where you can set up an approval process so the documents are not being sent before being approved by the manager or admin. Forms is another great feature that allows you to generate a form from a document to get documents filled out automatically. For example, if you send the same contract to all your clients, you could create a form for the contract template and then send a link to every new client. When they complete the form, they will be able to sign the contracts as well and you will get the signed contract on your end. Finally, I want to mention the add-ons store. Here you can find a lot of add-ons that give more functionality to your documents and to PandaDoc in general as well. Some of them come enabled out of the box, but you can disable them. Let's review the customization options. In the settings, you can change the branding, adding your logo and colors. This will be added to all your documents and email notifications. In your profile, you can set up your signature, so if you sign documents often, you don't have to re-sign every time. Also, here is where you can customize notifications. Templates are a great way to save time if you send similar documents over and over. You can create as many templates as you want and customize them adding text, images, tables, and more. You can also use tokens that will be auto-completed at the time of creating the document. This is great if you use integrations with other apps like a CRM. I made a video about tokens, so I will link it in the description. 
The pricing table allows you to make items optional, either as a multiple choice or a single choice. Regarding items, you can easily add them to the pricing table if they were already added to the catalog. Just start typing and the items will show up. To add or edit items to the catalog, go to the menu and then catalog. The last thing I want to mention is the content library. Here you can add specific parts of your documents, like pricing tables, signature areas, conditional statements, image galleries, and more, so you can easily add them to your documents later. There are not many automations in Pandadoc, but they do the job. You can set up workflows if you have an approval process. Also, you can decide a signing order of a document if you have multiple signers. Documents reminders are also an option in case you want to send email notifications to the signers while the document has not been completed yet. And you can set up a document expiration so the signers cannot complete the document if the date passed. Let's go over integrations. In the settings, you will find the integrations tab where you can see all the integrations available. Most of them are CRM apps that can share information with Pandadoc. So when you use tokens on your templates, the information will transfer to your document. You can also find some payment apps like Stripe or PayPal, and even a Zapier integration that will help you connect Pandadoc with other apps that are not listed here. Webhooks and the API are also available here. If you use any of the CRMs listed above, you will be fine setting up the integration. Otherwise, you will have to use Zapier. I made some videos about Zapier, so I will link them in the description. Setting up Pandadoc is really simple, and you can start using it after a few minutes. The most time-consuming part is creating any templates you will need so they look good and contain all the necessary information, workflows, and other automations. Customizing the branding and adding team members is really simple as well, and adding items to the library or to the catalog is straightforward. But if you have any issues, you can always use the Help Center, where they have a ton of information, or you can contact support via chat or email. The last thing we're going to go over is pricing. Today we reviewed the business version, which is $59 per user per month, billed monthly. This makes Pandadoc a little bit more expensive than other apps in this category, but not by much. You can also try out the essential version, but you will be missing really good features like integrations, the content library, and custom branding. I recommend Pandadoc to anyone who is looking to send proposals or contracts that require electronic signature. Creating documents directly in Pandadoc is great, allowing you to make changes, add pricing tables, and add optional items. And if you're using any of the CRMs that is in the integration staff, you will be able to streamline your sales process because the apps will talk to each other. Alternatives to Pandadoc are Proposify and HelloSign, which are very similar but with some differences. But if you're looking to send a PDF that you already have created and the only thing you need is an electronic signature, there are other options out there. DocuSign is one of them, as well as SohoSign. I will leave links in the video description once I have reviewed these apps. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. I also have an affiliate link in the description where you can try out Pandadoc and see if you like it. Thanks for watching.